Hi and welcome to our knowledge session on Spindle. I'm Chris, the training manager of the NAV people, and in this session my colleague Andy will be taking you through the main pieces of functionality within Spindle, so you can uncover how your business may utilise it in the future. The primary function of Spindle is the emailing of documents to customers, where you're also able to customise the email message and alter sent to details. Spindo also has the ability to process uh, documents in large amounts and email it to multiple addresses. Archiving documents to retain an audit trail, overlays to replace the header and footer of documents, criteria to send different emails depending on the data that's coming into Spindle, and the ability to attach fixed documents like terms and conditions. So let me hand you over to Andy to take you through the demo. Okay, the first thing to mention about Spindle is it is not an Envision specific product. You can use the same functionality in regards to other applications such as Excel, Jet Reports, etc. Um, once you install Spindle, three new print drivers will appear as printable devices. Um, the salient ones being Spindle Pro Auto, which is one that you'd normally use in everyday operation and Spindle Pro Form Creator, which is used for overlays, which we'll come to later on. Okay. The way that the document is identified is by a spindle string, which is displayed at the top of the document, which has been sent through. If that then gets printed to Spindle Pro Auto, these special characters get extracted, and um, Spindle knows how to react to the document itself. So I've set up a test spindle string on this report. So if I do a print and then do a preview you'll notice at the top of the document are some special hash characters which are used and reserved for spindle itself so the most important one of these is cfg and there will always be a cfg string when you're sending along to spindle and this identifies which document is going to actually use within Spindle. So if I spark up Spindle, you can define a number of document automations on the top panel here. And the first thing the system will do will be to look at the CFG string coming through and try to match with a document automation list here. And you see here we've got the sales order, which is the CFG string, which is being displayed across. The second hash is normally an email um, to show the email which the document is going to be sent to. Depending on the way you configure the system, depends on how it, how it, um, which email address it's going to use. If it can't find an email address, for instance, you're using the customer email address and for this, this contact is not actually set, then that will be blank or set to print and spend all nodes just to a normal print. And the third element of VARs You've got a range between um, VAR 1 and VAR 50, and these are additional information that you can send through to Spindle so that it can be used within Spindle itself. So in this example, this is just a document number. So we create the email which goes out to the customer showing, for instance, sales order and then the document number itself. But this can be expanded up to show other information from the vision, such as the customer name, um, currency code, etc., and Spindle can either use that information for display purposes or to change the behavior of Spindle itself. Okay. So if we drill down onto the sales order itself, the first element to look at is the subject title, which will be the title of the email which is sent through. So this isn't a sales invoice, so I'm going to change this over to a sales order. And then the hash characters which follow it are, sh are showing that you're going to grab the data which is coming through from the top document and then d um, then transpose this, this data with the one that's coming through. So we're going to get sales order and the number of the sales order that comes through. Um, document processing. The important element on this is a split up document. Mentioned on the initial introduction that you can use spindle within batch processing this is the element which is used to split documents up themselves so in this case if we are printing off multiple sales orders as one document it spindle would use a split up document factor to split them into multiple emails to be sent out 
So is this a set to var1, and var1 in this case is the document number, every new document that comes through would be sent through Spindle as a separate document. So if you were to batch print all of the sales orders for that day, for 20 odd orders, you would get 20 emails being sent out at the end of the day. We can also here define the distribution method. So in this case, I've just set email, but we can also set print. So before, even if a email address was not provided, the system would not do a print. In this case now, if the email is not if it's not provided, it will do a print. By default, this will go to your default printer, but the printer can be set for each of the each of the specific document automations. This is the element where we can also enable, which I won't do at present, the archiving module, which is the way you can audit and archive documents themselves. <laughs>